so. decided that I could stay in touch with my scattered children in a sort of a way by posting some of my saxophone music on YouTube. <laughs> now, I'm not a great saxophonist, but I have had about a quarter of a million hits on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> These were random hits. <laughs> they were not people saying, did you hear that great saxophone <laughs> and such and such? No, it wasn't that. But interestingly, that when you put something on YouTube, they'll give you the option to keep it private or to open it up to the public. So really, I just wanted my children to kind of stay in touch with what Daddy's doing, because to me, playing my saxophone is a way of worshiping the Lord. But. Uh, Amazingly, I've had responses from people all over the world who got a blessing out of what they heard. You know, God can bless whoever he wants to bless, however he wants to bless them. But it has always thrilled my heart when I get a response, and most of the people that get blessed don't respond, I'm telling you. But when I get a response, it just thrills me because all I've ever wanted to do is bless people. That's right, that, that's it. And uh, the Lord has given us so many wonderful opportunities. The last year or two, I've been posting some of my sermons, messages on YouTube. We have a, pro uh, a program in our church in New Orleans of sending out missionary day tapes every fifth Sunday. Our, our Sundays would be devoted to staying in contact with a number of missionaries who had been in our church, gone out from our church, scattered around the world. And so I would take the master tape, reproduce it, and then send it out to these missionaries. Well, about a year or two ago, uh, Esther, my daughter, brought all these missionary day tapes and said, Daddy, here are these, you can digitize them. Well, I was kind of overwhelmed with that because, you know, I wasn't expecting to see those tapes again. But in the meantime, I have been listening to these missionary day tapes. I never did like to hear myself preach. I really didn't. But having to digitize them, you have to listen to the tapes. And I have been fairly well overwhelmed with the power of God in my messages. Now, do I think of myself as a great preacher? Absolutely not. Do I think of myself as a great person? I, I really don't. But do I think of myself as sold out 100% to God? Absolutely. Do I consider myself 100% sold out to my family? Absolutely. Do I consider myself 100% sold out to the church? Absolutely. Now, God has taken the loaves and fishes, the five loaves and two fishes that I've given him, which is all I had, really. And I have seen him do absolutely astounding things. 
You've seen some of that today. And I guess there's a sort of a commercial to help people who need some help because on the table in the entrance are some business cards that we left. And uh, if you didn't get one, get one or two. And I've got my YouTube address on there. And I've got a lot of saxophone music. You don't need to listen to that. If you want to, fine. <laughs> we have some family items. But I've got a few recorded messages from my father. Then I have about, I guess, maybe 30 or 40 uh, messages that I have preached. And if you will take and if you will take these messages, listen to them carefully. Which my children, by the way, they, they don't. I send them out. <laughs> I, I know I know about my grandchildren, my children. I really don't. I see two or three have listened to my sermon. I got about 40 relatives that got the email about which sermon I just posted. I, I love you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but but look. Some of my messages, like one of the recent posts was, how um, conflicts are helpful to a Christian. Now I bet you there's not a person here who can just give out rope quickly how it is, but it's in that message. And uh, then I have another one I put on it. The title is, It's Going to Be All Right. Now listen. If you would listen thoughtfully to these messages and try to get over Thomas Murphy, the power of God is there. So that was my commercial and my address to you. <laughs> and I hope that you will do that as the Lord leads. That's all I want to do is bless you and bless others. Now this morning, I really would receive some profound word from the Lord, some concise messages that would inspire and challenge you. But later on during the day, I felt like the Lord said to me, they've already heard that. If they didn't believe it the first time, they're not going to believe it again. <laughs> so don't tell them. <laughs> so I'm going to summarize it by saying, We believe in the triune God, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. We believe in three distinct persons of the Godhead, but only one God. Now, if you want to get bogged down in mathematics and philosophy, you'll miss the blessing. If you'll just take what the Word of God says, even though it doesn't use the word Trinity, the Trinity is all the way through the Bible. And begin from your heart every day, all day, to say thank you, Jesus. Because Jesus is the one that paid for your sins. The vicarious substitutionary death of Jesus on Calvary is your only hope of success in life and eternity. And you need to be saved today. If there's anybody here that has not received Jesus, you can do that right now. Because he did everything difficult and complicated so that if you recognize your need and open your heart, you can say, Jesus, save me now, and he'll do it. Then if you are saved, then the atonement, the, the sacrifice of Jesus is foundational to every aspect of your life. If you will, from your heart, in every situation, all day, every day, as I'm trying to do, say, thank you, Jesus. There is no problem that you will face that Christ in his own time will bring you through it successfully. <coughs> so let's just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I need you, Jesus. I need you, Jesus. I trust you, Jesus. I trust you, Jesus. I worship you, Jesus. I worship you, Jesus. And the Bible says, for in him dwelleth all the fullness, all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and you are complete in him. Amen. Now, I'm about to get worked up a little bit, as you can see. <laughs> why don't we just stand up? 
join hands, and I'm going to lead us in a prayer of thanksgiving, including the refreshments that are coming up, and then if Slater wants us to sit back down and whatever he has, he will do that. <laughs> but this is a love feast, and make sure you love somebody real good before you leave here today. And make sure you receive all the love that God has for you today. Okay? Amen. And Father, we do praise you and thank you for everything, especially the precious gift of salvation through your wonderful Son, Jesus. And Lord Jesus, we thank you for the sacrifice. And we thank you for the wonderful teachings that you've given us and for your precious <coughs> presence with us even now. And Spirit of God, for your precious word that is a light unto our feet, a light unto our path. And for the comfort you give us, for the enlightenment, and for the power. And Father, we bless you. Jesus, we bless you. Holy Spirit, we bless you. And we thank you for the refreshments. And we thank you for the sweet fellowship. And we thank you for everything. In the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Be seated.